How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Sigmas of Gamers and today it looks like Electronic Arts has plans for 2023 which will actually include a remake and a major IP release and I gotta say pretty interesting and hey without any further ado let's go ahead and dive right into this shall we? So it starts off saying that EA has big plans for early 2023. Electronic Arts might have finally decided to, uh, to part ways with FIFA but that is hardly going to dampen the AAA publisher's plans for a financially lucrative future. The studio has announced, announced in its latest financial earning report that it has no less than five major releases in the works, all, <clears throat> all expected to hit in early 2023. <clears throat> EA has revealed these five releases include both a brand new remake and a major IP. EA notes that this remake is yet to be announced, which would seemingly rule out the incoming Death Space, Re uh, Death Space Revisit, despite the release also being scheduled for early 2023. Well, let's just hope that it'll be a remake of the old Lord of the Rings games that came out back in the early 2000s. <laughs> so, so the major IP could be referred to a currently known EA brand, such as Mass Effect, Sims, or Dragon Age, or it could be a third-party IP licensed by EA for development such as Star Wars. Let's hope it's Lord of the Rings. <clears throat> so, fourth listed releases is noted that EA partner title, which suggested a subsidiary release, an example of which would be 2021's critically acclaimed co-op adventure. It takes two. The fifth and final release is a sports title, and it's most probably the previously delayed golf sim EA Sports PGA World Tour. In addition to these five releases, EA will launch several known titles over the remainder of 2022, including the Apex Legends mobile. Well, uh, F1 2020, I mean 2022, and the new entries of the Need for Speed Madden and NHL series. And the final EA and FIFA release will re arrive this fall before the release, I mean, before the series rebrands to EA Sports FC in 2023. And so, yeah, gotta say, pretty interesting stuff up that what EA is gonna be playing for next year. And <laughs> like I said, for like for those who have been around way back in the early 2000s, whenever we had the the iconic and the best film trilogy of all time, Lord of the Rings, that came out back in the early 2000s with Fellowship, Two Towers, Return of the King, because because back in the day there were actually a, a, three video games, or technically two video games that were based off off those films, films themselves, but to where they actually had like Fellowship of the Ring, which was based off the book, like basically off the original old novelization that was written by J.R.R. Tolkien, and Two Towers and Return of the King were based off the films where I think Two Towers like you know started off with some of the some of the scenes that took place during the events of Fellowship of the Ring and then transitioned to Two Towers and when it came with the Return of the King video game, that's what we had like it started off with the Battle of Helm's Deep or basically like the ending with the Battle of Helm's Deep when Gandalf came okay, aim and actually it finished off like you know what happened in the film version of the Two Towers and <laughs> it, it was well but technically like you know for those who like read all the books we all know that Two Towers kind of ended off with oh Sam finding she loved and and Frodo has been taken away by the orcs Eric's which was a very uh painful cliffhanger, but all I can say is I thank God I'm thank God that Peter Jackson did not go with that round just all, just in and off with the Battle Helms Deep and then just in and right there and just pick up up afterwards and then okay, I'm kinda getting off topic right now, but then just like <laughs> Okay, Return of the King and like, you know, start off off with the ending of Battle Helms Deep and then transition over to Return of the King. And but a man can dream. A man can dream. So yeah, that's going to be it for today's video, guys. If you found it to be helpful and informative, then be sure to drop a like as always, because it does help the channel out a lot. Subscribe for more content like this. Hit the, hit the bell to be notified when my next video is going to drop, and you got your own thoughts and opinions about what EA is going to be planning for 2023, whether like what could be the potential remake that's going to be coming out, out or what's going to be the major IP, you know, all that stuff, up, uh, whatever is going to be happening next year. But hey, if you got your own thoughts or theories, Go ahead and sign up in the comment section below and get a discussion going because I would love to hear your thoughts on this. And thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you all in the next one.